Hi Aquarius and welcome to my channel. We're going to do a bonus reading for you all today. I'm doing these for the most popular readings of the month and yours is one of them so I'm glad your readings resonated. This reading is based around the Mars and Venus conjunctions. You might have seen the video I did on this recently, if not you might want to check that out. So we had a conjunction in February on the 16th and we've got two to come on the 3rd and 6th of March where Venus and Mars unite. So pretty powerful time where these polar opposite planets meet. Masculine and feminine energies. So at the moment this conjunction is impacting your 12th house of spirituality. You might have used this time for healing or maybe isolating yourself a little bit. This is also a house of endings. So some of you might need to release something before beginning a new chapter. So in March, the conjunction blesses your first house, which is all around foundation. And positive opportunities may pour into all areas of your life during that time. You may find you're very attractive and alluring during that time. You know, just lots of opportunities come flooding in for you. So this is going to be from the 26th of February to the 6th of March 2022. Um, can, it can move you know, beyond that, obviously, but we're just going to look at the energies during this time, see what comes through. We've got truth be told, first of all. So... For some of you, I feel this is like being honest with yourself and releasing, as I was just saying, releasing those things that have maybe been linked to relationships or an inner battle, let's say, finding moderation, releasing the mask, being honest with those around you as well. A lot of you want things to be fair and just in your life. This could be something you've been weighing up recently. Um, maybe relationships for some of you. Trusting your intuition with the owl. So yeah, we've had an owl twice. So some of you have been in isolation, as I was saying, um, or well, that could really help you if you need to make a decision, you know, a balanced decision. And as I was saying before about releasing things before you have the new chapter that's coming through, clearing things away from your mind, anything you're holding on to that doesn't serve you, and even in your surroundings, in your home, you know, just having a declutter, that can really help actually um, for you to feel better within, you know, if your surroundings are, are tidy, let's say. So I'm really getting like the masculine energy coming through with a stag, your inner masculine energy taking the lead. Going to take some spirit animal as well. Okay, they flew out. So we've got crow spirit, first of all, co create with spirit. So some of you are being guided to open up to the divine here. You know, when you visualize and ask for what you want, work with spirit and things will go in your favor. Number 17, number of the star, that's your card. 
Aquarius. Maybe your spirit animal is a crow. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. This really links with that releasing things that I said I feel some of you need to do. Whether it's situations, people, or just things within you that are sort of tying you down. 33, master number there. And we have, yeah, we've got a three here. 21 breaks down to a three, 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 which is again showing you and spirit aligning. Sort of your inner masculine and feminine energies. Whale spirit, trust the great mystery. Some of you want to take a deep dive. Again, I'm getting this feeling of being a bit isolated at the moment, so you can do that. You have this deep inner knowing with the owl that came out as well. 65 breaks down to 11. You are being guided on your divine path. We've got 11 and 33, definitely. Moving towards your destiny. Okay, so let's see what we get then that comes out in your energy during this time. What's coming in for Aquarius? Some Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so some of you might have really felt unfulfilled, or this is how you're feeling at the moment, not really seeing what's coming in for you, but see here's Spirit offering you this cup, offering you signs, so make sure you look out for any signs that come your way, it could be numbers for some of you. Some of you need to find balance, like we had here in your life, in your situation, and within. Find moderation, be patient. 14, and we had 14 here, 14, 14. A lot of number synchronicities coming through already in this reading, so you're being guided, you might be seeing numbers like that, which are messages from the divine, from spirit, Some of you want to start again, start afresh. You've got new ideas in terms of how to do this, something you're passionate about. Could be a project, business idea. Um, yeah, something that brings in balance again. We've got the scales again that we had here. So this could be a Libra that some of you um, also have on your mind or you're dealing with. Now, for some of you, this is a message from someone. It's going to be a very balanced situation, again, with that to be fair. Um, equal give and take with this person. I feel it's a new partnership for some of you, with the Two of Wands. Some of you have been visualising this. You want this new beginning. Spirit is saying, come out of any energy like that, sort of feeling unfulfilled, yeah? Keep your head up, looking forward. It's amazing because we've got the Divine Masculine come out that we had there. This is the Divine Masculine within you, taking the lead in your life, maybe your going to move towards someone here or this could be your divine masculine if you're twin flames in particular I do feel 
divinely guided connection here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, a lot of fire. Wow, yeah, there's someone in your subconscious. You don't see this person coming. This is someone from your past. They might have, yeah, they might have just ended things very abruptly. Painful ending. I'm feeling that, the pain. Um, there was something they said that really hurt you. Some of you, you haven't let go of that. You see, so some of you have to let go of that harsh energy. What happened in the past, let it go. And then you can bring the new in. There's someone here at a distance you haven't spoken to for some time. They want to reach out, clear the air. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So let's see this person's energy then. It was amazing the way the cards fly out. Notice this card, and it's under the, the um, emperor. <laughs> so this is the emperor, clearly, who's coming into your life. A bit of a slow energy, though, with the Knight of Pentacles. This person's been through a lot of lessons, life lessons. That could be why you had to separate. Your person um, grows spiritually and they trust their intuition. See, their third eye opens. I feel they purge, they release a lot. There's regret for what things they've done in the past. And they start to try and look forward to the future. So they move on from something difficult in their life. Now, either it's a relationship or it's just, as I said, like you, this kind of purging that I feel needs to happen, releasing what happened in the past. This is a very strong soulmate connection between you and this person. See, they've never let you go. You're both, your energies are both merging in the 5D. You might be dreaming about this person. They want a new beginning. So you've both got a two, which is confirming that. It's possible. Someone committed and loyal, taking the lead. Just take one more. Wow, another ace. So, 11, first of all. Um, so this person trusts their gut instinct. They receive downloads that guide them forward. As they grow spiritually, there's a very deep, telepathic connection between you and this person it's destined um, with the book ends it's like you know a new beginning passionate new beginning it's what they want communication wow so earth there Capricorn Taurus Virgo if I didn't say that Yeah, your person 
is def I feel they could be moving on from a relationship, as I said. And if not, it's just something that's in their energy. Someone walked away from them. Maybe they took money from them as a result. See, we've got the lawyer. So something legal that they may be going through at this time and they lose money as a result of that. That person is still in their energy, lurking. They could have been married to that person, I really feel. And this card flew out up here. Beautiful. This is what they want with you. Reconciliation. 38 breaks down to 11. Wow. We've had 11 a lot here. 11, 11. Divine connection. Putting things right. Making peace. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to do an extended because we've got a strong, very strong connection that's coming through here. Um, for those of you not going on to the extended, I'll pull an oracle card for you. These are my new cards, Goddess Dream Oracle. Beautiful cards. They have an affirmation with them, which I'll read for you. Okay, we've got two. We'll take it. Okay, we've got in nature, connect with nature. That could be what some of you need to do to clear your energy. Wow, we've got an owl here. And we've had two owls and a horse. And obviously we had the horse spirit before. So finding that strength within to get yourself out there, to move on, to release. Your path. Have courage to follow your own path. And we've got the stag. This is amazing, Aquarius. The synchronicities in this reading, very special reading. So this is the divine masculine within you. Having that strength of the horse as well to move forward on your path. Okay, I'm going to read you the affirmations. So for this one, it says, I am open to the goddess gifted teachings through the natural world. And for the other one, I walk my path with my heart wide open to see all the unseen wonders along the way. Beautiful. Yeah, and I just noticed, I knew there was a number that we'd seen. We've got 16 here. 16, 16, 16. Wow. The amount of number synchronicities we've had coming through. Okay, Aquarius. So, as I said, I'm going to do an extended for this reading. In that reading, we'll look at the energy of this connection, blocks in the connection, how your person feels about you, the likely outcome of this connection and advice from spirit. The link to that reading is in the description box below. Sending peace, love and light to you all.